Gen2 Player is not simply another operating system for streamers. It is an audiophile design philosophy implemented on Gen2 Linux, focused on the total elimination of digital interference, noise, and the maximization of clock performance. While Rune, HQ Player, and Mood have their merits, GP targets a very specific user, one who seeks the ultimate, non-negotiable sonic improvement, but above all, a user with significant computer knowledge to fully utilize it. So saying it is for everyone is not the correct word. To use an analogy, it is as if with GP you become the tailor of your own streaming playback system and do not buy the suit already beautifully packaged and ready to wear. GP excels in areas that other operating systems generally neglect, especially for endpoints based on light hardware such as a Raspberry Pi, but also classic PCs. When to choose Gen 2 Player? When your priority is to obtain the maximum sonic detail from your streamer endpoint, even at the expense of Rune's luxurious UI, for example, even though GP can function as a Rune bridge, when the goal is extreme kernel tweaking, CPU isolation, and the use of the RAM system, which Mood does not offer at this level of depth. Unlike Volumio or Mood, which use standard or slightly modified kernels, GP uses highly optimized real-time kernels with options such as Clang CTO kernels, often paid. This kernel ensures that audio playback processes have the highest priority, reducing interruptions from other services, IRQ, and perceptible jitter with minimal latency. GP allows you to isolate CPU cores, dedicating one specifically to the audio process and leaving the others for network and interface, reducing cross-interference. The RAM system is a distinctive feature. GP can be loaded entirely into RAM at startup. Once loaded, access to the SD card or hard drive is virtually eliminated during playback drastically reducing electrical noise and EMI, electromagnetic interference, generated by I.O. activity. This translates into a deeper black background and improved microsonic detail. For those who use the Doretta protocol, GP is one of the few options that can act as both a host and a target endpoint on hardware, integrating this technology natively and optimally. Quality comes at a cost, and I'm not just talking about the paid license. User interface. The web interface is purely functional. It is a control panel for hardware software configuration, not an elegant music playback UI like Rune or Volumio. It is designed for tech enthusiasts and, as I said at the beginning, requires a certain familiarity with Linux audio concepts, drivers, kernel, scheduling, to fully exploit its advanced options. Gen 2 Player is not for everyone. It is the choice for those who own a high-end or mid-to-high-end audio system where the differences between operating systems become audible a definitive sonic improvement as the ultimate software optimization. You choose it if you are not afraid of complex configuration and maximum audio quality is the only metric that matters. Gen2 Player is the audiophile's surgical tool designed to squeeze every drop of performance from the hardware. I can say with absolute certainty that I have tried almost all streaming software and by tweaking Gen2 Player, you get the absolute best results, especially in a dual server client separate configuration.